Today's Technique Tuesday is not really about a technique, but, uh, but an exploration. It's, we're going to be in the play state today, so welcome to Technique Tuesday. My name is Ken. Here's what I want you to do. I want you, I want you to start working on all of your techniques that you've been working on, but I want you to stay away from your center. Here's your center. Your center is going to be right here. This, this is where most of your control is at, and this is also where chucks are generally spun, here. Right? Pretty easy. <laughs> but this is also your comfort zone. So what I want you to do is to not freestyle at all in this box. I want you to look in a mirror, like I'm kind of looking right now. Look in the mirror, and do not freestyle with your hands in this box from your stomach to your neck to your shoulders. So in other words, if you're doing your wrist rolls, do them out here. Or if you're doing a moon wave, do it above your head or to the side or to the other side. Whatever you can do to keep the momentum from touching, well the momentum, the chucks, from crossing this center body. And the reason why we're doing this is because I want you guys to start using the techniques that you've learned and expanding on it a little bit. Um, I, I kind of talk, talked about this in Nunchaku Tricks very briefly, but a lot of times what I've been seeing is people are learning a technique and then they'll just jump to the next technique. But there are, like when you learn a technique, there are literally dozens of variations that you can expand upon and work with. So just because you learned, just because you learned the front to front wrist roll doesn't mean there's nothing else to learn, you know? All we have to do with the front to front wrist roll is move with or against the direction of the flow and we have any spin front to fronts, or we have in spin front to fronts. Oops. So this is it. Uh, all I have is my cheap chucks on me right now, so these are like the most imbalanced, cheesy chucks. <laughs> but I brought the wrong ones today, so whatever. So what I want you to work on now is, you know, a front to front wrist roll out here is different than a front to front wrist roll here, and a front to front wrist roll here is different than a front to front wrist roll here. A front to front wrist roll behind your head I mean, I've never tried that one before. It's different. There we go. Uh, no, no, that's the front to back. See what I'm saying now? Uh, bend your planes. Get outside of your chest and your stomach. Get your arms away from it, okay? See if you can find that connection point to the outside. And again, I apologize. These are not my favorite chucks to be spinning right now. They're very, 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 very light. And the string is really, really long. And that makes for a very sloppy Ken. <laughs> Anyways, so be on the outside. See if you can do your wrist rolls from the outside. See if you can do your moon waves from the side. See if you can turn with it. Whatever you can, just don't keep it in the body. And see what you can do with that. This exploration will definitely help you uh, create bigger motions. Now, why would you want to go to the outside? That's another question. Why would you want to go to the outside? That's something you should ask. Why would you want to go to the outside? Why wouldn't you always keep it in your center? And the thing is, doing a lot of talking right now, <laughs> but the thing is, if you keep everything in your center, people get used to what they see. So if you spend, if you do like three minute freestyle and everything is, if you do a three minute freestyle and everything is same pace, no matter what you're doing, in the same position, no matter how fascinating or how amazing the techniques are, it'll start to wear thin really quickly, right? But then what you want to do is create tempo variances to speed it up and slow it down. You know, even a tempo variance in a swing, for instance, there's a difference between this and that. And there's a sharp snap here, and then I actually slow it down. So as I'm spinning, it's going faster, and then it slows down there. That creates the snap, right? So even, even with tempo variances in speed with regards to even one technique, see that? Even this is different. So if I'm doing the hand roll and all of a sudden the other half is a little bit faster, or if I start fast and ended it slow. I mean, these are things that you can explore. Nice and slow, fast, slow, staying to the outside, staying in the center, which everyone does, which is why I want you to avoid it. Hopefully that makes sense, everybody. This is really important. Uh, this is really important for your techniques, too. If you think that this is not a technique, you are completely wrong. It's a hundred techniques. Depends on what you're doing, you know? 
Whether you do your wheel here, geez, this freaking chuck, man. Whether you do your wheel here, or you do it to the side and you're staying this way, it's gonna be a different feel. Um, so explore this outer region here, and here, and here, and work on seeing if you can take the same moves or, and adjust the tempo. Fast, slow, slow, fast, etc., etc. Just don't go at the same speed the whole time. Uh, avoid going the same speed in the same place where your hands really aren't moving. See if you can carry it through. If you have any questions, my name is Ken. Hope this helps. Uh, don't buy these chucks. They're really bad. <laughs> Happy spinning. <laughs>